Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode three. Yep, we're the Alan Iverson of podcasts right now. Uh, episode three. Hey, Sixers just clinched the playoff spot, so it's worth it. Welcome to Ape from Work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, it's your three favorite wrestling commentators, Matt, Mike, and Mike. Let's check in on the guys. Hey, Rest Pass, how you doing today, bud? I am doing amazing. I'm pumped for to this podcast. Well, that makes one of us. Peachy, <laughs> how you feeling? I, I feel great. Whew. Wow, he's, you guys are. He's ready to find out what's going on in the world of wrestling. That's a, that's what. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is he, this is this is Peachy's recap for the week of what's going on in wrestling. <laughs> Always heard the old news I needed to hear. <laughs> what news? <laughs> that strong style evolves on right now. Yes, and uh, yeah, you, new Billy Gunn. Yeah, yeah, new Billy. <laughs> Cody Rhodes is the new Billy Gunn. New Billy Gunn, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So, just as a uh, side note to our avid listenership, uh, while recording this, uh, the New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Style Evolve special event in uh, LA is taking place right now, actively watching it. Current match on the card is Bullet Club of Cody and Marty Skrull versus uh, the Gorillas of Destiny. Tangaloa and Tamatanga should be a really fun match. Cody was getting booed out of the building for the little bit that I was watching, so it's always fun. Peachy, what are your thoughts on it? I I love it. I love everything about it, and I hope they do uh, a full trilogy. Of the trilogy, which one do you think will be the best? The second one. It's always the second one. Fair enough. All right, so topic of the week is – so one of the things we always talk – when we talked about doing this is not just do a weekly recap show of, oh, this just happened last week and we're going to talk about it real fast. We wanted to kind of be fun, do a bunch of different topics and things like that. But this week, how could we not talk about probably some of the biggest news to come out of the pro wrestling world is that Daniel Bryan – has been medically cleared by WWE doctors to compete again in a WWE ring. Huge news. I, for one, am ecstatic. I think I almost cried when I heard the news and was watching his his speech. That's how emotionally evolved I was in on this. Russ Pass, your quick thoughts. Um, I, I did not cry, if that's the quick thought you're looking for. Um, Pussy. Now, I didn't see this ever happening, so, I mean, I it came as a shock to me. Um, I'm hoping it's not for one match, but I, I'm excited to see where they can go with it. Peachy, your thoughts? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering why now. Like, did was it him doing the, you know, I'm doing this or I'm out, or why did they have to get cleared? Why did Why are they doing it now? I think I think it's a mix of everything. I think ultimately what happened was he was going to other doctors to prove his point of I want to wrestle and I can wrestle. And then it was the, you know, the ultimatum. All right, if you guys don't let me wrestle, I'm out after my contract. And so WWE had to make a decision. Yeah, they basically – Brian forced the WWE's hand into basically letting him do it. So one of the things I read about it too is after every match or altercation, he has to get impact testing uh, until WWE is fully comfortable with him not having concussions. So I think that was the one uh, – kind of one caveat to it, which isn't ultimately bad. No. Yeah. And it- – is that just going to be like the concussion protocol every time? Every, I think, I don't want to say every match, but every wrestling thing he is a part of, he will have to do the concussion protocol afterwards, regardless of whether or not it's uh, he's showing signs of it or anything like that. So, like, ultimately, you know, it, it seems like a lot he's going to have to go through, but I guess it's... It, he thinks it's worth it, which and makes me happy. Just so, and they and they went full, full, full guns one. blazing with bringing him back into the ring. Because if if nobody watched SmackDown, 
Owens did a buckle bomb on him. Zayn and Owens both beat the crap out of him. And I was just like, I did not expect this to happen this fast. <laughs> They're just like, well, you're saying you're healthy. Yeah, yeah that's exactly it. what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. But this opens up a lot of possibilities now that, you know, kind of went out the window a couple years ago when he, Brian, had to retire. Um, so, you know, we get a lot of matches. So the rumored match, his first match back is going to be him and Shane McMahon versus Owens and Zayn at Mania, which... I think it's going to be a fun match. It's going to be a great match to um, kind of just ease Daniel Bryan into it. Um, I think all th- four of those guys will be able to put on a, a great match um, it, at WrestleMania. Is, is Do you think he's, uh, Daniel Bryan's going to be rusty at all? I'm sure he's going to be rusty just because he hasn't – he's obviously he's been training and things like that, but I think he's hasn't wrestled in front of a live crowd in – over two years, so yeah, definitely he's going to be rusty. That's why a tag team match is going to work well in his favor because he's not going to have to um, be this main focal point for 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, you let, Him and Shane can... You, you let Shane get beat down, he gets a hot tag, you know. Yep. Yeah, he, he, is Shane going to jump off a cage? Probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's all he does. <laughs> They're just going to randomly lower a cage for him. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they put this in a steel cage now or something like that just to just to get him to jump off something. Um, nah, but I think that should be a fun match. Uh, Peachy, you want to give your predictions since you know how to really... Uh, to stir to, the pot? To, yeah, stir the pot. Sure, that's what we'll use. Right, but between the two of them, do you think they would... So, are you going to say WWE for WrestleMania is going to let all of the fan favorites win every match? Yes. So you're you're saying Daniel Bryan coming back, it's gonna be Daniel Bryan and Shane win. It's possible. I actually think I, I think they might he they might lose this match. I think I could see Shane taking a pin or Bryan turning on Zane halfway through and aligning himself with Owens and Zane. Shane's somehow. gonna be the one coming out with the pin. Shane's gonna do Wait, all the wrestling. It's actually gonna be Bryan yeah. getting beat down. Ah, with Shane taking the hot tag, jumping from corner to corner, and then a roll-up victory. Doing his dumbass punches. <laughs> Everything's a roll-up. <laughs> yeah. That that should be our next podcast. Everything's a roll-up. <laughs> if we can get sponsored by Fruit Roll-Ups, I'll do it in a heartbeat. Fruit Roll-Ups, if you're listening, feel free to send products. <laughs> No, but yeah, no, I think the rest, the Mania match is going to be really. Um, I think it's going to be fun. It's it's going to be cool. Like hopefully Brian does come out for it, and I'm hoping this is what they set up. But it's going to be great to see him wrestle again. Like it's again, like you know, this wasn't supposed to happen. At least in WWE, like I thought. Like so, there's that all in event that Cody and the Young Bucks are putting together in Chicago in September. I figured Brian was going to leave his contract. And just show up there, and he was going to wrestle in the independent scene again. Um, and, and maybe so that, maybe that was possible. Maybe that's why it's coming out now. Maybe there I was th- rumors I definitely of think that happening. Is. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think that. Um, that his reasoning for he just he told him he's like oh, I'm going to go to the independents. Um, that's when WWE was just like, all right, we have to try to do something to get him back in the in our ring yeah um but that would have been fun so uh like are there any good non wwe matches you could have seen with brian out there so so let's play you know fantasy what what matches would have been fun to see daniel bryan compete in outside of wwe pg any anything would be fun like where so, you send them to HOH or, like... Yeah, Daniel Bryan's showing up at HOH. All right. All right, that's it. All right, so... <laughs> that's it. I, think, that's I, think, it. I, I got think... it. I got it. The fantasy match in the independence is Tommy Dreamer against the Dreamer Daniel Bryan. Dreamer versus Bryan, yeah. Exactly. Oh, man. I think I might do a segment for this that says, Dumb shit PG says. 
It'll, <laughs> it'll be like our 10th yeah. episode, 20th epi- episode. It's just a special of clips. Yeah, <laughs> all, the, all the stupid shit PG says. Ah, just while I'm putting stuff together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, nah, he wouldn't... Nah, Daniel Bryan, I don't think... Uh, why I like the idea of him going to House of Hardcore, but nah, he wouldn't. He would go to probably Ring of Honor, go back to Ring of Honor, go to New Japan, um, do all the kind of the main ones. The match I would like to see, and just because I've been, I'm like obsessed with him lately, is Brian versus Marty Skrull. That would be a a fun like technical match. Um, Brian against the Bullet Club, I think, would just be. Yeah, I you know a good story because Brian would just get cheered no matter where he goes. Same as the Bullet Club, but Brian will people would at least make be- the 18th faction of the Bullet Club. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, I think that would be that would have been a good match. I mean, Daniel Bryan versus Omega, but um, that's the thing. It's all it, it all depends on what how Brian would be able to wrestle as well. Um, where Peach on the Independence. Right? Uh, yeah, not to cut you off, but on the independence, I think he'd be a little bit more free. You know, you don't have to go through all the all the all the little hoops that he's going to have to go through for WWE. So regardless, uh, no. you know, he's not the type of person he's going to go out and he's going to put on a show regardless of how he's feeling. So I don't think he would have been limited had he been on the independence, and that's probably the only thing that I would have been looking forward to. As far as him being an independent, because him wrestling anybody uh, would have been entertaining. Um, uh, yeah. But I'm sure that's where we're leading to. But I'm excited for the, the WWE matches that we haven't seen yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just – I was, like, thinking – I was, like, oh, like, well, because, like, so that all-in uh, Chicago event that I was saying, like, the other rumor was Punk going to show up. I would have loved to seen a Daniel Bryan CM Punk match again. That would have been incredible. Yeah, one thing I was thinking about this happening, and I know it, it comes around constantly, but do you think Brian coming back is going to bring back Punk Chance at all? Uh, no, not at all. Not in this. No, not not any more than what they currently do. And part of me was just thinking about that because you you had that feeling that Brian was done, you yep. know, and now he's back. And I, I guess I, I'm talking more for the people that don't read rumor sites that, you know, that go to the shows that's still real to them, like people like PT. Um, yeah. Like, you know, they see Brian back and they're like, oh, he was never supposed to wrestle again. Maybe Punk's going to come back. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I feel like you might get it a little bit more, a tiny bit more. Nah, I, I really don't think so just because um... – they're completely different scenarios, and we know that. I'm. I guess I'm talking yeah. more for, you know, the filthy half, casual. Yes, half the crowd <laughs> that's not that that's not quote unquote in the know um, yeah. as far as these things go. Yeah. yeah. Peach, is there any guy? So obviously you don't follow the independents as much, but anything like any guy you think would be a cool match to see Daniel Bryan face against that, you know, is not in WWE. CM Punk. There you go. Is Punk still fighting in uh, UFC or whatever? Yeah, I think that, I don't know if it's announced yet, but his next match is uh, They're assuming it's the Chicago. Chicago it's the Chicago one in Jul- June or July. Got it. Um, right there, that's the dream match. Daniel Bryan trains for the UFC. UFC. CM Punk. Bryan Daniel. UFC under WWE banner. <laughs> They'll bring back the Lions Den match for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went there. <laughs> Who was that? Was it uh, Steve Blackman and Owen Ken, Hart? Ken Shamrock. Oh, Ken Shamrock and Steve Blackman. That's right. That was a fun match. I remember that. Yeah. I, that was real good. So, um, all right, so... Mike, you brought it up earlier, but WWE matches we'd like to see Daniel Bryan in. I have one. It's the main, and it's, the, it's probably the biggest one. Ah, well, that has to be Daniel Bryan, Shane McMahon, one on one. Exactly. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> that, that. That that it would, it would work. 
See, I'm cool with a match like that because, like, it eases Brian back into wrestling on a regular basis. And I mean when he's comfortable and trained. I mean, like, when... Who, Shane or Daniel? Both of them. When they're at the top of their okay. game. That's that <laughs> yeah. dream match, main event, WrestleMania material. I, I, all right. Yeah, um, that's, that's Tokyo <laughs> Hall. Um, it's the Tokyo Dome. Well, I'm going to take this one before you say what your match is. and I, There's so many of them. I mean, there's so many of them. Uh, when he retired, it was when this influx of guys came in. And regardless if he wrestled them outside of WWE, like you, like you actually said last week, I, I believe it was last week or it might have been the first, the first episode, you talked about how people didn't get to see these guys wrestle. And, and you don't get to okay. see them wrestle WWE style, which isn't necessarily for everybody, but still. I mean, you have Nakamura, there's Styles, there's Samoa Joe, there's Finn Balor. You know, all of them. It, you even have Seth Rollins when he's at the top of his game. You know, you, you have guys coming in, guys that came in right after he retired. Yeah, um, definitely. And, and that's what... There's just so many of them. That's why I worry that they're going to limit his matches because they're afraid, you know? Well, yeah, I think so. But, I mean, I think you can limit it in a good way. So, like, the one match I want to see and... It, it was th- some of the best storytelling is Daniel Bryan and The Miz. That's yeah. the match I want to see. That yeah. That is hands down. Like, they, like, no. Is it going to be a technical masterpiece with The Miz? No. But the, uh, that, that whole talking smack thing where Miz went off on him, uh, it, it, it was perfect. Like, this is what you've been setting up for. And I think it's, it's just going to be, it, that that that's going to be a great match. I think uh, that's probably like your SummerSlam match. And f- from a storyline base, I mean that exactly. that thing goes back so far, and that'll never that'll never be done. <laughs> I don't no. care. And yeah. actually, actually, so I'm sorry. I take that back. I don't say SummerSlam. I say Survivor Series. Especially if they keep the rosters the way they are, there's a perfect interpromotional um, match between Raw and SmackDown. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. Nah. Um, you, you hash that story out, it'll be great. Um, Peach, what do you got? What are your thoughts? Who would you like to see? Which one do you think would be fun? But I really don't care who Daniel Bryan's going to be. Like, I know you're all excited providing, about him Providing back, all but... the input, all the, all the, the hard-hitting details, Peach. I like it. But you got to develop a storyline for him again. Like... Not unless you're pulling it as him as the new, you know, uh, him being management versus the little guy or whatever. But you have to develop a storyline for him before you can say, oh, you know, I want I want this, I want that. See, I think there's some matches that you don't need the storyline for it. Like if you were told me if the, 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 the Tuesday after WrestleMania – Nakamura's in the ring and Daniel Bryan just walks there. That needs no story. Yeah. That has a backstory already because Daniel Bryan's the reason why Nakamura came to WWE. And that was the match Nakamura wants. The the one the one benefit too that WWE has is Bryan's on that level now. They don't need to de- develop a story for him. It's the yep. matches you didn't see happen yet. It's it it's the the John Cena effect. John Cena can main event any wrestling show he wants if they want him to with no backstory at all. There doesn't need yep. to be any. It, he'll he'll main event it. Brock Lesnar, main event it. Brock Lesnar has to show up for three months. You want I to will... throw him in a championship match with somebody? That happens. And Daniel Bryan, I don't see him main event in shows. I see him main event in small shows. Um I don't believe they'll put him back at that level unless he proves without a shadow of a doubt that that he can stay healthy and that might take a while for that to get back there. But yeah. he'll be one of you know, he'll he'll start off a show and, and the show will be really hot. It'll be the match before the main event that's better than the main event. But I don't yeah. think they need to set up a storyline for him with anybody, to be honest with you. Yeah, so you didn't mention one person, and it's the one person I don't want him to face, and that is Lesnar. I I don't want him to face Lesnar whatsoever. Like, it'd be cool, but I just... Lesnar, to me, like, I get... 
he still makes me nervous that he's actually going to hurt someone. And with like, especially since we don't know how Daniel Bryan is going to kind of react. Like he, it, it, it this sucks. Like he might get a concussion in that match with, he might have a concussion from the the beating that Zayn and Owens put on him last week. Yeah. Like, and it, you, I don't know how, I don't understand concussions enough at all to understand how any of that works. So, um. I'm just like I just want him far away from. Plus, I also want Lesnar. Could just I want Lesnar gone. I don't like. I'm yeah, done with the whole. They're at the spot now. I think they brought in enough guys that he's not necessary for them anymore. I, he's still he he's still that big main event, and no matter what anybody said, he just is. He gets the yeah, people who he... aren't into wrestling to want to see it. Well, watch it. Yep. Um, but they have. They've brought so much in that it's almost getting – their growth is getting stunted a little bit because all these guys are older. They, they didn't bring Finn Balor at, at you know, 22. It, Nakamura is not a 21-year-old kid that's got, you know, all this time to, oh, okay, you know, we can we could slowly push him over here. These Those guys can take over. At, at the same level as Lesnar, probably not, but Lesnar's a freak. He's not – He's not the same type of guy that comes around that often. Yeah, no. And that's what it's like. I Just because I care more about seeing the other guys wrestle, like, you know, I don't, you know, I don't want the, I don't want a Brock Lesnar, Daniel Bryan match. Just because I've seen that match already. Um, are you going to put Daniel Bryan out there to, like, carry matches, to, like, take the bumps, take the falls? Or are you going to put him out against that kind of wrestler? Like Brock or you know somebody with the limited move set, limited where he has to take them bumps, he has to take them hits. Or are they going to put him against smaller people that will take the bumps for him? Well, so remove Lesnar. So the only other person would be like a Braun Strowman, um, Bro- Roman Reigns. Like that, but, Roman, that, but, but Roman, but Reigns is he's not that kind of no, he's not Roman that kind of wrestler. Go. Yeah. Yeah, like you're talking like no, but Roman needs somebody to like take them to act like a rag doll. Are, are you going to spear and you know Superman punch uh, Daniel Bryan right out of the gate? Well, they those moves don't have the same type of a, effect as a Lesnar suplex or Strowman throwing him without any regards to Bryan's body. I mean, the Superman yeah. punch. To be honest with you, anybody can do it. It's, it's not, not right. it's and the spear is yeah. not really that effective of. And you even but you and, have to worry like about to, concussions anyway. Yeah, and like to that point, like it's not the Roman Reigns or the or like you're saying Brock Lesnar. I'm more scared of Rollins then. He's got the curb stop plant back, and yeah. I don't want I don't want Brian taking that. Uh, a, but, Samoa Joe. He's he's the same type of guy. I think Samoa yeah. Joe. He's a good wrestler, but when he gets his move style, might not benefit Brian a little bit when he gets the. the um, yeah. uh, why can't I think of his finisher's name? Um, the neck drop off of the top rope. What the hell? Uh, um, uh, Buster. Um, the Brit- uh, whatever. Uh, What's Samoa Joe's finisher? Uh. Do you know what I'm talking about? I, yeah, I think so. I'm... It's like, yeah, look it up. <laughs> I'm too, I'm too hungover to type. Um, that that's going to be our weekly segments. Stupid shit, Peachy says, and how much did Walton drink last <laughs> night? The Muscle Buster. Muscle Buster. Thank you. Um, yeah, like that's a little nerve wracking move just because of like his positioning on his neck, stuff like that. That's where I get nervous. But I I, um, I think Joe is a smart enough wrestler. Where... Well, Joe and Brian had it. I believe they had a no. Was that? I'm I'm thinking of Joe and Punk. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Joe and Punk. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, but yeah, I, I think I, Joe and Brian. I, I think he's smart enough to know not. I I, I, I don't yeah. want to call it smart enough, but I think he's athletic enough. He's savvy enough in the ring where a guy like Strowman's not. He's not known for his wrestling savvy. Like, he's not out there for that reason. But I do think if you're going to put Brian in harm's way, 
it's for Braun Strowman. It, it, to it, push it, Braun over. Yeah, it nah, could, I, I, I'm saying if he needs it, if if there's some type of yeah. heel turn on Strowman's part, how do you get him over as a heel? Yeah, put you him beat the hell out of the guy that just came back from a concussion. Man. My only thing is, and it's like, I I would like him to see, like, so you, you do this match at Mania, tag team match. So and it's like, where do you go from from this? You know, this is where you do Brian versus Shane. Like, do these dumb matches early on just to get Brian used to the motions again, get him um, well adjusted in the ring, and then you know you set up for Mania next year to where your match next year at Mania is Daniel Bryan versus Nakamura or something like that. Yeah, you, um, you, you get that's your, when you get your Brian versus Triple H out of the next time there's a Raw versus SmackDown pay per view. You know, yeah. you bring that back because that doesn't need much to it. You, yeah, yeah, that's an easy story you can rehash. Um, or hell, I'd even take Brian versus Angle. Oh, yeah. that that'd be a that'd be a hell of a GM match. Just that, uh, like a Survivor Series. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You you got all those matches that can can get him back slowly where he doesn't need to yeah. nobody's coming in there expecting this technical marvel from triple h and and brian no. or kurt angle and brian shane mcmahon brian and it's still it tells the story honestly ms brian nobody's expecting this great amazing technical match I, it, it has th- the the storyline is enough for that match um, but i think like i think ms would like i think their game would step up and it would be a a possible like match of the year candidate whenever it takes place. But you, you're because, not because if, of the, if it's not an amazing you're not match. Surprised. You're not surprised. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You're not you're not yeah. putting him out there with Nakamura. Where like if it falls flat, you're like, why did you do this now? He has exactly. the ring rust isn't completely off yet. Exactly. But the thing is, also, it's like you want to get him in there with Nakamura and like Styles and these guys early on because you don't know what type of time frame you have. That's very true. That's if they view him um, at that level still. That's if they view that they need to get... uh, Brian, if they feel like they need to get that out of Brian, you know? They they might be viewing it's better for us to have him than to not have him, but they might feel like he's not there still as the the B-plus player storyline went. Um they might not feel yeah. he's ever going to be there again, and we'll take the crowd reaction for as long as his neck will, his neck and head will let him. And, yeah. Uh, is there any? So this was a question I was thinking of. Is it better that we get Brian in WWE, or would it have been better for him to go to the independents? Um, I'm going to answer this for PG and say WWE, purely because I know he watches all the independents, but. I'm going to go with Peachy and say, if he cares about Daniel Bryan, WWE. Um, and I'm going to agree with Peachy and say, I would have rather WWE purely because I watch WWE more. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it, it like just decision-wise, it's WWE is the, the top place to go. Why wouldn't he? Well, honestly, for just from the way Brian has always phrased it and seems it, he cares more about wrestling than being a sports entertainer. And like that's what Brian said, he wants to wrestle. But, um, obviously, the money's in WWE more than it would be in the independence, but I still think like I wouldn't have been surprised. I agree. I agree with you guys. I think I'm happier to see him in WWE because I think he'll get better medical care, especially like if he is hurt and he'll ultimately be taken better more so than um possibly in an independence plus in the independence you said it earlier mike he's going to push himself and those doctors aren't going to be there so he could kill himself yeah yeah um, and, and and that's if he's only caring about the wrestling that's what he's going to do yeah. they're they're going to do yeah. everything in their power to protect him in the ring if they feel if, if wwe feels like he's bringing in money for them he's getting a crowd reaction it is beneficial to them it's beneficial for them to keep him as healthy as they possibly can. And yeah, yep. it, it's only going to prolong his career. My eyes. Uh, it's going to prolong it in a healthy way. Yes. I agree. Right. No, no flying headbutts. Uh, no, I, 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 I still see him doing a flying headbutt. I see, see a flying headbutt while Shane does his little uh, oh, corner to corner oh. at the same time. That's how this match ends. Uh, <clears throat> I just thought of something terrible. Something terrible. Terrible. This well, 
well, you, you said flying head, but I immediately think of Chris Benoit. <laughs> and then I think, I'm like, oh, wow, Brian has a wife and a kid. <laughs> Don't. We could have new quiz zone team name. Oh, if... man, Daniel Bryan's on Strangle Kid. <laughs> Now, you see, when, when WWE <laughs> gets away from this PG era, they go rated oh, R one day. Man. That's the storyline. Vince McMahon dies. They come out, and he he admits he's not dead because something tragic happened in the Bryan residence. We see, oh, it, we, we see it on Total Divas and Total Bellas. Yeah. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> Did, oh, uh, man. Talking, like... All right, he's going to fight in the tag team match, you know, for WrestleMania. Is he going to stay in the tag team? Like, do you think that they'll play at that just like so they Like him can... and Shane are going to become tag no, team No, 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 no. Not him and Shane, but, like, because... Him and Ron, him the and right, Peach? Show, him and Ron, the sense they're both going to lose? It was him and Big Show for a while, wasn't it? Him and Kane. Him and Kane. Him and Kane was very interesting. Um, right, but, like, just to, to pad him, to there was, put another the, layer side, in between. I, I, side, I, side note, I, r- real think, fast, before before okay. you start talking, Mike, uh, with Big Show, and, or with Daniel Bryan and Kane, the key fave news had posted an article, uh, the doctor that cleared Daniel Bryan was Dr. Shelby from the whole <laughs> Kane angle. I was like, I was like that's, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. But, go ahead. Um, I think it's most likely to happen now, Peach. Um they probably will protect them in triple threats, tag team matches. Uh, I, you'll see single matches, but it's kind of like what we're saying. You'll see a random singles match with him, him and Shane. You know, you, you'll, you'll see. Yeah, a, that that's that's going to happen. Yeah, but th- those are the single matches that are going to happen. Th- I think they're they're going to try to protect him as much as possible. And I think putting him in there with like a guy like Kevin Owens one on one, they're both so much wanting to entertain the crowd that it might be just as dangerous as putting Brian in, in the independence right now while he's rusty. You know, I think they'll, they'll both try to steal the show. And right now you don't need that. You, you don't need it from him. You, you need him to be in there. Like I said, they like said in a tag team match where Brian, the whole match is hyped up. Brian's not in the ring. Brian's not in the ring. You know, I expect to see that WrestleMania. Shane's getting beat down. He's getting beat down. He misses the tag. Yeah, he he puts he puts. Brian finally comes in. Brian mm-hmm. runs all over everything. Maybe he gets slowed down a little bit. He tags Shane. Shane does some big move. Matches over. Yeah. I, I don't expect to see a whole lot of Brian right now. Um, because it's the anticipation of it. it it's yep. it's almost going to mirror the Rousey match. I don't expect to see Rousey in that match very long either. And it's going to be the anticipation of what she's going to look like. She's going to go out there. They're going to make her look good the same way they're going yep. to make Brian look good in any way they possibly can. Yeah. I, I, I don't think they're going to make Brian look good. I think Brian's just going to look good on his own. Well, they want to make sure he doesn't look bad. Uh, I, yes. I, it's a little bit opposite with Brian, where they yes. want to make R- Rousey look good. They don't want to show Brian's rust in the match, that, that show that he might not... Even though he's been trained, he's not ring trained. Really, they don't want to show all that. Yep, yep, yep. Um, definitely, definitely agree with that. Speaking of WrestleMania, I, ever since I heard this news, the one thing I kept thinking about this year, and I know the card's not completely done, but it's it's pretty much done. This is the first time I could remember, as far as part timers involved in WrestleMania, the part timers are legit part-time wrestlers for like the first time in, in a long time what do you mean uh, legit well part-time? If, if we get takers seen they're yep. they're legit wwe part-time wrestlers it's not the rock coming in for a match yeah uh, rousey yeah. just signed a contract yeah, the stars that are involved in this match lesnar who might go but he's still been a part of wrestling you got daniel yep. bryan triple h stephanie this mcmahon is... shane mcmahon you have guys that that they're using the star power from within as opposed from outside of it. I fully expect to see Maria Menounos in, in the women's, you know, the Andre, no, uh, Andrea uh, the Giant Battle Royal. Um, no, uh, they, they, uh, they, uh, Lillian Garcia is doing it, which is a very nice touch. Is she, she doing the ring announcing or is she in the match? Yes. She's but ring I'm, announcing I'm saying I expect the, to see uh, Maria Menounos in the match. Like, I, I expect to see Shaq yeah. again in the, the Andre Giant. You know what I mean? I expect to see something like that. But yeah. it's not 
the co-main event with yeah. Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? It, they're using their own star power from within. I I find that pretty interesting this year. And, and it's a nice touch. It's nice to see that you don't have some random outsider. And anybody who's being used outside of Rousey, honestly, and it's hard to call her an outsider completely because she's been training for it and she signed a deal with them. But it, I'm just I'm very I'm very curious with Rousey how her deal. Like I'm hoping she is not a part timer. Like from the way every indication has been that she is straight. This is what her career is for the next three years. Well, I, I'm I'm calling her part timer in the sense that she hasn't wrestled yet. Like yeah, it's, right. it's 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 they're using her star power pre her first match. Yeah, yeah. This mania card, I'm I'm very excited for it. It's, I think I think it's a solid card. Yeah, yeah. And we can use that to kind of just you know I'm assuming over the uh, our next couple episodes will be our kind of WrestleMania prediction shows. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know you know what be... I've been waiting for. I, talk, I don't to talk, to talk Cena Taker. That's a. Oh, I, I okay. mean, well, one one of these one of these years when Taker actually accepts the match. Yeah, um, um, I'm excited to discuss that a little bit. But so, uh, but yeah, we will do that. But yeah. so, uh, kind of just wrap it up there. Any final thoughts on Brian from you guys, Peach? I know you probably had to get some water because your voice is so hoarse from talking this entire time. Anything yes. you want to throw out there? I just want uh, Daniel Bryan's beard to get much larger. I don't want him to ever shave it. I want that to become part of his his ring persona, persona again. Okay, that's a that's a valid statement. Respans, you have anything? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, PG stole my beard comment. Um, now, I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, I don't know. That storyline has been so confusing and interesting at the same time. I think it's added another element to it that was not expected. And I'm I'm a little bit more excited about the storyline than Brian because I've been I've I've been just so confused by it a little bit. I don't know what they've been doing. I mean, Brian was heel and face and heel and with them and not with them and I I'm expecting some weird double turn at Wrestlemania to be honest and I just I don't know where it's going to go and but, that's what's fun yeah uh, yeah I uh, that match could end in, in 37 different ways I'm not exactly sure where they're going and to be honest with you it's WWE it very well could end at Wrestlemania <laughs> and never yeah. be spoken about again um, which in itself is another turn for it, but I'm I'm just interested to see where they're going. I, I mean, I miss I miss Owens being a singles threat a little bit. As interested as I am with him and Zayn, I I miss that. I want I want them to split for that reason. Um, I'm just curious how Brian's going to fit into this whole thing. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, I think it's great that. Daniel Bryan is back. Um, um, I'm ha- like it, it's it's awesome that the WWE listened. They opened up and they said, "All right, we will, we'll let this happen. We'll let this happen. We'll we're gonna let you wrestle again and give us you know the matches that we kind of missed out on." And again, like you said, from a storyline standpoint, Miz and Bryan that that should be this mania that like that. That could be this mania, but like you know, the way Miz is on Raw and stuff like that, it didn't work out. But um, that that's just that has a great storyline, and then you can hopefully get these technical masterpieces like it's with Nakamura, um, with Styles, hell, even with Kurt Angle, Daniel Bryan, Kurt Angle. That's just a it's not in the same level, but that's of every Hogan Rock. Mania match angle and Brian, at least in my opinion. One thing, not to cut you off too much, but one thing we haven't talked about: Gargano, Brian, when he eventually yeah, comes being... up. I mean, he's basically been the NXT's version of Daniel Bryan, anyway. Yep, yep. That that be, that would that be. There's your tag team. Yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah. tag team. There's your tag team right there. The B plus players. So, yep. Uh, 
so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Daniel Bryan coming back is a good thing for everyone. Sounds what it seems like. And y- this was also interesting, too. Do you know what day he came back on? Rusev Day? Rusev Day. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible jokes keep coming. So, the Daniel Bryan episode is done. So, I want to thank everyone for listening to this. Uh oh. In our Skype chat, Peachy is giving a lot of thumbs up, uh, and it's really giving me a headache f- because of my hangover from last night. It, it um, is the, the thumbs up for yes. Oh, okay. Peachy's doing a yes chant <laughs> via, via Skype. So, thank our sponsors. But no. Yeah, thank uh, Fruit Roll Ups. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, what is it? Uh, Hair Club for Men? Or the Beard Club for Men? Or whatever whatever that thing you go to, Peachy. Beard Championships. Um, I don't know how sponsorships work, but just for reference, none, none of those companies actually sponsor us. It's a joke. <laughs> no, I don't no, no know. paid promotion. No paid promotion. No paid promotion. I don't know how this stuff works from that standpoint. But, no, thank you again, everyone, for listening to the Apron Work Podcast, your three wrestling buddies, Matt, Mike, and Mike, always here to provide the entertainment for you. And until next week, we shall catch you guys later. <laughs>